Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Amber. I am a naturopathic doctor and I love to talk about all things peptide therapy and especially how to improve your energy and performance. Today we're going to talk about the Botox-like peptides. And these are three different peptides that are combined to produce a similar effect to what Botox does. So if you know about Botox, botulinum toxin, it's something that's injected into wrinkles to actually paralyze that muscle from contracting. So I'm going to walk you through what are the three Botox-like peptides that we can use aside from injectable Botox to improve skin quality as you age and reduce wrinkling. The first of these is arginine, and arginine is a six amino amino acid peptide sequence. And it was actually launched in 2001. So there's been some research on this specific peptide. It's non-toxic. It's an anti-wrinkle acetyl hexa peptide. It interferes with the snare complex. We found in a study of 10 women that this peptide, arginine, actually helped to produce a 48% improvement in the fine lines and the depth of the wrinkles in that eye area. So periorbital around the eye. There was also another study done in the Journal of Cosmetic Science that showed that this peptide actually reduces the depth of wrinkles by about 30% after 30 days of use, which is pretty substantial. The second peptide in the Botox-like peptides is called Lufazil, and this really couples to the enkephalin receptor. So if you're in science and you know what that is, essentially that closes the calcium channel and will lower or block acetylcholine. And that acetylcholine is that molecule that actually causes the muscle contraction that will cause the wrinkling over time. Those smile lines, the frown lines. Lufazil is really a five amino acid acid peptide that reduces the depth of those wrinkles and it targets the wrinkle formation mechanism of the expression of wrinkles. We know there's a synergistic effect between arginine and lufazil. There was a study done for 28 days where the cream of both of these was applied around the eyes by 43 volunteers and they found a massive 24.62% in wrinkle reduction was observed due to the complementary or synergistic mechanism of peptides, which we see in other combinations as well in the peptide therapy space, we can combine things for additive effect. And these two are really phenomenal. Third peptide that is really helpful in this Botox-like peptide combination is something called GHKCU. And this one is really the gold of the peptide therapy world, especially in aesthetics. So I love using GHKCU for many reasons, but essentially GHKCU is a naturally occurring copper complex. It has histidyl, lysine, and glycyl peptides. It's really just three different peptides attached to a copper molecule. We know that at about age 20, your plasma level, so the amount in your blood of this peptide, GHKCU, is about 200 nanograms per milliliter. It's about 200. We know that age 60, that level declines to about 80 nanograms per milliliter, so less than half of what you have at age 20. GHKCU is really involved in the production of collagen, which is what keeps our skin healthy and elastic. Part of the process of aging skin when our collagen degrades. Some of the amazing effects of GHKCU is it really helps with wound healing. That's how we discovered GHKCU. This peptide combination is actually applying it to wounds. So I like to use this in a post-surgery protocol. I, I like to use it whenever there's some sort of trauma or injury. A lot of women will have either an implant or an explant and they'll have scarring. And so we can use it to reduce that for wounds. Also, it attracts immune cells. It has some antioxidant capacity. It's an anti-inflammatory, which is phenomenal when there is a wound or a cut or a scar. Bruising can be really helpful. I like to use GHKCU also as a, we use it in skin regeneration. It's shown to be anti-cancer properties as well. It has does have this angiogenic property, which means it can help 
to grow new blood vessels. So that's why it really helps in wound healing. GHKCU can actually restore the ability of fibroblasts to replicate after chemotherapy. If you know what chemotherapy does, it really stops the rapid division of many of our rapidly dividing cells like hair, and like fibroblasts, which are found in the connective tissue. And so we can wake that system up again by using something like GHKCU. We've also found that GHKCU, using it for repair and for skin, has found to show a 70% increase in collagen and a 36% decrease in wrinkles. Wow, that's pretty substantial. And GHKCU outperforms vitamin C and retinoic acid, which is pretty profound as those are highly used in the aesthetic world, topically. Many skincare products actually have vitamin C and retinoic acid. Some of them now actually have GHKCU, but we can apply GHKCU in combination with these other Botox-like peptides like Argelene and Lufazel to get a better result. There's a synergy here. GHK stands for three different amino acids connected together by a bond, and that is glycine, histidine, and lysine. We know that GHKCU can have some protective benefits as we age. It can actually work on stem cells. This is really important as the world of stem cells and regenerative medicine is growing faster than ever. And so GHKC really fits into this conversation where we can actually improve the cellular stemness, meaning the ability of cells to differentiate. We can improve stem cells with GHKCU, which is phenomenal. Stem cells, if you remember, are those cells that can really turn into anything. So if we need them for connective tissue, we can use them for that, and they can differentiate into other tissues. When we're born, uh, we have a lot of stem cells that can change as we age. So GHKCU can be really helpful for this anti-aging benefit. We know that GHKCU can actually activate these DNA repair genes. How amazing is that? DNA damage can happen to all of us, will happen to all of us. We know that GHKCU can actually activate this system called the ubiquinin proteasome system or the UPS system. That system actually removes damaged proteins. So part of the process of keeping healthy, glowing skin as we age is to remove the dead old debris and to repair our collagen and our connective tissue appropriately. So not only can GHKCU help with the repair side, but it can help with the removal of those damaged proteins. Really something that we test. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Botox-like peptides. We have Argelene, we have Lufazel, and we have GHKCU, that copper peptide. And these three together create this beautiful blend that we can use topically. If you're interested in where to get this peptide, you can actually click down below in the text below the video. We will have a link to where you can access this and read more about it as well. It's a really fascinating combo that is newer to use in aesthetic medicine, and it can be used from home. That's the beautiful thing. Or after skin damage, trauma, a laser, being out in the sun, a sunburn, it can be really, really helpful for wound healing. We talked about post-surgery scars. I tend to use it in those sorts of instances. So go check out the GHKCU Argelene Lufazel, the Botox-like peptides in a combination, or you can get just GHKCU, depending on what you're looking for. And then there will also be a link for the GHKCU that is for the hair regeneration. That is also over the counter. You don't need a doctor to get that. And you can use that at night before bed, apply it to the scalp. I hope you enjoyed this little clip about the Botox-like peptides. And if you're interested in learning more, you can go to peptideplaybook.com. That is where you can get a free PDF that tells you about some of the peptides that we talked about today and many more. This is just an introduction to the aesthetic peptides. If you like this video, go check out the video on BPC, which will be linked right here. And you can find out more about this peptide and how we use BPC also for wound healing, for healing the gut and leaky gut 
and for other benefits to that peptide. And don't miss our future videos. So subscribe to the channel. This is the Peptide Doc signing off and I'll see you in the next video.